Hello everyone, we are going to learn about parsing the JSON format in Python. We will need a request library for this to do. Here is the documentation from the Python. That is Python documentation of request. And you can go through this to know more. We are going to read only JSON result that when we parse URL here I have uh, get some URL that uh, could get give us JSON format here is one similar URL let's see this copy this and paste this here we have get the response in JSON format here uh, we are getting some parts only not a fully here I have get this uh, title is equal to DNA where we are getting more over there here this is the JSON format it has a key and this is the value this all is value up to the last and the key have value which have more key and this key have more values in the form of list means there is array of the json data now we will pass this all and i will show how to pass all this first of all we will need the library call request for this there is two method first it is cmd to make if you already set environmental environment variable and simply type pip install request it will install the request but i have already installed this and it is saying already requirement are this and if you are not said this it will give error because for pip so type percentage this value and you will go to app data here move back to local and you will find here programs here we will go through python 3 so we will get python 3 you can go where your file has been located and go to script when you go to script type simply cmd in the address bar and you will move to the window here you can type pip install request now let's go to python file for his main we will run python here let's test here if the library has already installed or not let's see import request and it is we need another file also that another library called import it is inbuilt sorry this is json it is inbuilt in python let's make new file here here we will first of all import here i will import the first of all request and import json let's save it I will save it to my documents folder and I will make here sorry I will make here I think I should make this and parsing let's start programming we have imported the library this our library now we should request for the data I will make data I will make a response RSVN response is equal to I will request request dot get method you should, you may know that there are two math two three four method to get URL and we will get get method it will show all the values in URL let's pass it pass it
aggregate let's copy this url all of the url when you copy this url from this bar then you will get http is wait this this is important this is important for us if you will not type this and it will not show this i will first print the response response it will in the form of json so it will not give us proper result and it will give us something uh, response 200 as here is response 200 means here is the array of 200 thing let's close this and parse this json response json is equal to i will say sorry R E S P O N S A response dot JSON. It will give more line. Let's print and see what we will get. It will take some time because it should parse to the net. Yes, we have get. as what we are getting here all things we have get in our file here where is our file i will i should find this file yes i have find this response this is the key and this is the value r and in this key have this value have another key and this value this number found means they have already made the json json and they have made this let's print this now we have to we will go through this response and we will get all the component rather than this we will only eradicate this bracket and last bracket of this let's close this because it is so big Let's print JSON. Sorry, our JSON, and I think we will read from HTML. We have this file response. Let's copy this and paste to this. This is how we can read the value of the key. This is the value key. This is key and we will get the value of key. Here I will show you what is this. This is key and all this is value of key. Let's save and print here. It will give us less one line that we have get as yes. there first it was giving us 220 and now 221 before and now 20. Let's see response has been removed and it is giving us value this now it has again this is a dictionary object in the python and this has key and we can say this is json inside json in form of json and in form of python we can say this is a dictionary previous it was dictionary and it is dictionary inside dictionary now let's get the value of this number found and we will get this all value how how many value will be there in this docs means how many list are there this bracket means it is starting of list let's found number found we will print same this number found is equal to this start is equal to this maximum score and we will not consider this now and we will look later here there is r data i will say this r data because we have already taken response so r data is equal to this and i will print i shall print 
here I will simply use what is this I should do that one I think this is norm data and start and maximum norm found this is print norm found and I will print this dot format this will simply place very vari variable instead of this bracket here so we can use this r data let's copy other two this is start and this is maximum Print start and we we'll make format of R underscore data and this will give I think start this. Think this bracket close and close. Print maximum score and this. Sorry, this. Let's see if we get the same result. I think this is this could match our result here. Let's see this is four eighty four zero and six point three four zero six five six three and match it here. Yes, same here we have get the data this is how we can look and let's see i don't know how many list are there in this file here i think this list starts from here and id where is the id yes here it is and to here this is one list here we will get here and inside this list there is another list also we will just print this list first of all. We have response and let's make this sense here and let's make what is this all data. Data list is equal to r underscore data. This may be have DOC, yes. I think this is same. Let's see. Yes, this is same here. We will just print DOC, yes. The value of DOC, yes. But means the length of DOCS format here we will find length of database let's see how many this here one like two there are ten list in our data we have looked this and I will show I have shown how to assess first of all this value and how to assess we have made all this value in another variable and this is the list here 
for list i will use only this first list because we will get more relevant material in this and here is another list here too i think this is another list here list let us see we will not look this id but we will use journal publication date title display and author display first of all we will use this because this is author also in the data this is some text we will use and i will show this is this in tkenter tree view and we will use some things in tree view and when we click in that and we will show this value all this value there and we will find that thing let's uh, get all the things here let's get for the first one and i will make i will not print this first row if you want to print a while let's make for list list is list in data list i will say this is in topic list topic in i will say topic in data list it will count all i will print the title only in this title i think this is in inside this dcs and this let's see what will we will get this is title to title display i will print all the title display of this data let's print i will carry one number i is equal to 1 i will print first of all number dot and title this is will be title and dot format this i comma and tops topic and there is one value this is called title display and it should work for me and i will increment title i plus is equal to one let's print all it should give me all the title yes first of all stability of mrna dna dna duplex dna topology and it is giving all the title for me this is how you can print all the material but i don't need anything like this but i want to print this journal publication date article type display author and title first of all i will display title and we have already the code of title let's remove this i don't need this i will print topic topic equal to DAT data list and i will pass the index because i index start from zero and this is zero value and here this is a first and this was this start now here we have topic already displayed here and copy this let's make this topic like you are uh, you have been seen in any website that shows you different format print i find here i think what is this 
is publication date I'll make it publication date let's make simply without concerning anything and format Let's print all the others. Let's make only these two things article type, not more than this because here are more, and I will make this again and we'll print that. Article type is this. Format and I will paint for author in TOPS topic and I find what is the key of the authors here author this display and I simply make a print wait for this print I is equal to one and I'll pass here sorry, format. I comma I will find author and this must work now we can pass this sorry for this this is so small space for us yes we have got this yes this we have already printing this for so many time this is the topic of the article that have been written when it was published here yeah, this is the time zone and type is research article and authors are Raina I care to this one 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 we have not increment this I is equal to I plus one let's run again and it will show us same as one two three four five six this is how we can pass the JSON in the Python and we will know how you can upload data from Python to your live server like GoDaddy or any server that you have hosted your website and you could save database from your Python to your 